In this tutorial, I will show you how to get the best job using LinkedIn. I will help you adjust your job seeking settings to signal interest to recruiters, show you new ways to find job opportunities and easygoing methods to get relevant connections on LinkedIn. The more steps you complete, the higher you appear in their system, leading to more job offers. So let's start with the basics. Adjusting your job seeking settings. Go to settings and privacy, click on data privacy, and scroll down to change the job seeking preferences. Now make sure this one is toggled on, but also that you signal interest to recruiters. Now go back to your profile page, click this pencil icon and ensure that everything is toggled on down here and that both basic and public are enabled. Now return to your page, click on your profile picture and check if it's set to anyone or else others will see this unprofessional default visual instead of your profile picture. Next, I want you to enable the open to work settings. In LinkedIn Recruiter, it serves as a filter employers use to find job seekers. So go to your profile, click on open to finding a new job and enter one, preferably two, maybe even three related job titles because recruiters filter on multiple. Now the same applies to location type, location, start date and employment types. Now before you enable who can view you are open to work, research done by LinkedIn shows those who enable all LinkedIn members, so with the open to work photo frame, are 40% more likely to receive in-mails from recruiters. However, most smaller companies use LinkedIn's cheaper light version, which doesn't have access to this filter. So if you want job offers from mainly big companies or prefer not to publish express your job search then enable the first option and click save now before we continue i want you to use my free job application tracker so you can document the entire process a simple google sheet works too but you see on average it takes between 21 and 80 job applications to receive a job offer while you may remember all the companies you've applied to it can become challenging to recall the stage you are in the specific position you've applied for where you found the job listing the contact information and so forth so I've bundled everything together in this easy to customize Notion template, including the LinkedIn to-dos for each company. Grab a free copy via the link and let's continue to the next step, receiving personalized keyword suggestions from LinkedIn. Now, this is very useful because LinkedIn knows what employers search for in their LinkedIn recruiter tool. Here's what you need to do. Click on more and let LinkedIn create a resume based on your profile. Enter your desired job title, and click apply. Then head over to the widget section where LinkedIn indicates the keywords still missing on your profile based on the job title you've added and sprinkle these keywords across your profile sections. And once done, tap this resumes button, click the dots icon so you can delete the generated resume. And the second method is to receive skills suggestions based on the job listing you are interested in. Say you want to apply to this job and you scroll down, you'll find the skills that are still missing and then you just add them to your profile sections. All right, let's move on to the next super important step, getting company connections. You see, for high demand jobs, recruiters usually filter candidates based on whether they have company connections. So what you can do is search for your favorite company and go to their page, click the people section, and search for individuals within the company who share a mutual interest, or for example, those who studied at the same university. Scroll down and start connecting with preferably second or third degree connections. I find that without a note is most effective. Next, I want to show you how to effectively search on LinkedIn jobs. So go to the jobs tab and search for a job role you are interested in and enter the location, press enter, and add the companies you want to work at. Okay, and then you click on show results. So over here, you can see the exact number of search results. Now let's add a similar role that I'm targeting. And this one has slightly more job offers. So let's go with this one and filter on past 24 hours or past week if you don't get enough results. Now let's check out this job listing. It's reposted. And this could mean that they haven't found the right candidate and want to keep the job listing active. So don't get discouraged by the number of applicants. Most are just click throughs anyway. Let me show you. Continue to Amazon's career page, go back and refresh the page. Now it says 41 instead of 40. 
And on top of that, it shows only 10 to 15% of LinkedIn applicants are qualified. Now, if you want to minimize competition, go to all filters, scroll down and enable under 10 applicants. Now, another super effective method is to search for job posts. So let's switch from the jobs to the posts tab. Filter on latest, click show results, then go to all filters because we need to re-enter the companies. Don't add them under mentioning companies. We want to add them to author companies. Okay, click show results. And next we need to add brackets to our job title and hiring to our search and press enter to see the results. And try to find those with a purple banner that says hiring or company employees. Now, once you find the right opportunity, you can, for example, leave a comment saying, sounds like a great opportunity. I'm interested. Now, this is a great way to early anticipate on a job role they urgently try to fill. Send the person a connection request and use him or her as the contact person for your job application. Okay, next I want to show you one of the most important filters used in LinkedIn Recruiter. Engage with talent brand. This one filters candidates who are following the company or have publicly engaged with updates or job posts by liking, sharing or commenting. And there are a couple of places where we can do so. So let me show you. Search for your favorite company, click follow and visit the company page. Then check the about section to see if they have this I'm interested button. Now you click it, okay, and then go to posts. Let's close this one and you can start engaging on these posts. But what might be more appealing to you is the live tab, at least if the company has one. Here you can check out trending employee content, something you can also find at the bottom of some job listings. Now see what resonates with you and start liking, commenting, and maybe even sharing some of the posts. Okay, next we are going to cold approach recruiters. Now the key here is to one, get more first degree company connections, two, a contact person's name, or even better, three, a referral. So what you can do is search for a recruiter, press enter, go to the people's tab, and over here you can filter on the current company they work at. So let's enter Microsoft, okay, in the Netherlands. Show results. Now look for second and third degree connections. Let's click this person's profile. And most of the time, it's not possible to send a message straight away. So click on more, connect, and add a note like this. A simple, short, and informal message. And if you want to add a link to the LinkedIn vacancy, just go to the job listing, click on the arrow, and copy the link, and paste it in. Okay? Now keep what you want to know more about in just one, two, or maybe three keywords. And if the character limit is an issue, consider sending a connection request without a note first. Now, if you connect and feel like there's a genuine connection, don't be afraid to ask for an introduction. It can be a win-win situation because they will get a commission or a bonus for referring you, and in return, you get a referral. And referrals are best to get your foot in the door. Now, you can also ask your connections. Let me show you. Go to search, press enter, go to the people's tab, and search for first degree connections. Now you add some of your favorite companies. So let's pick Google and Microsoft. See if you get any results and just send some of your connections a message saying, hi name, how are things going? I saw this open position at your company. Could you maybe introduce me to hiring manager XYZ or the hiring manager in a specific department? Cheers, followed by your name. Now, if you don't ask, you will never know, which is worse than receiving a no. Now at last, I want you to create job alerts not only to be notified first, but also because it signals interest to recruiters. Let me show you how it works. Go to your favorite company's page, click jobs, and create a job alert for each specific job role that you are interested in within that company. Let me add three real fast. Okay. You can manage all of the job alerts by clicking on this link or by going over to the jobs tab preferences and then clicking here on job alerts so this job alert means that i will be notified of all software programmer roles at microsoft in the netherlands and if you click the pencil icon you can choose to be notified daily or weekly via email or on linkedin now being notified this way can help you be first in line which is important since most hiring decisions are made early on in the application process and that's all you need to know to get the best job using linkedin let me know if you found this helpful or if you have any questions i want to thank you for watching and i hope to see you in my next video bye